Yeah, that never happens, does it? <laughs> like, like every other update. <laughs> Go to sixty-seven. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I noticed it. Uh, there hasn't been a, a, a Tuesday update in a while. I'm on the western side. Okay. If a higher sharpness would bring out any more detail, let me go to 200. See what happens. This is the bubble nebula. Bring up the information. Oh, NGC 7635 in Cassiopeia. Yeah, the reds are coming out nice. I'm looking for another target. Oh, what was that? That's that. Operation completed. Yeah, the scene is pretty good tonight. I may have to try something uh, like Thor's helmet and stuff that I didn't do the other night. If once it gets high enough, okay. Yes. That is correct. And then the longer the stack goes on, the the more of the lower sharpness images drop out and more of the 200% sharpness images get factored in. Yes, I'm at 45 seconds right now. Uh, Thor's helmet is not up yet. Okay. Wait, what time is it? Oh, God. Wait. Let me go to real time. 
real time. Skull is gone, Marie. I, I was going to look. I was looking at the sculptor galaxy earlier, and in the uh, it was getting low in between the neighbors' oak trees and pine trees, and the skull is even further west. So it's it's gone now. I <laughs> uh, Nino. Let's see, what else can I look at? I'm looking at the bubble now, and it's in the west. How high up? This may be rough. I'm going to go to the uh, fireworks galaxy. 6946. It's not that high. It's only 22 degrees up right now. Telescopes flew into target. Telescopes flew complete. And I got my here extended as high as it'll go right now. Yeah, right now it says altitude 22.27. Hi, Rich. Let's see. Should have the first of the fireworks galaxy coming in. Wait for the next refresh. I think it's there. Okay, next image coming up in 10 seconds. Yeah, Rusty, I'm moving over to uh, 6946 in Camelo Pardalis. It may be. Too low or too long of an exposure or both. Let's shorten the exposure and let's see. Stop and let's go to about 20 seconds and see what shows. Okay, 20 seconds. It shouldn't be. There it is. It's there. It's in the center. Uh, almost to the center. Let me... I need to move it. Let's see. There. Center is right there, and i got to move it. If I take that star and move it to the edge, that ought to do it. Let's see. Let me go to a shorter exposure. Stop. Loop five seconds, and let me see if going... If that moves it in the right direction. I think 
that ended up where I wanted to put it. Okay, let's try. Erase. Erase. Stop. Thirty seconds loop. Let's see what happens. And where is the histogram? False. No problem, Rusty. The problem, Rich, is when you do a meridian flip, then the east and west changes and... <laughs> okay, maybe 30 seconds was too long. Let's see, I just raised the black point to... Let's see what happens. Did I do a white balance over here? Let me do a white balance. And then start the stacking. Hey, Terry, I'll be posting some images uh, to the uh, groups later. I, I've captured 161 images, not all of which will be good, but I'll take some of the captures and I'll, I'll also posting these videos to the group. The first video was like over an hour long. This is, I'm already 12 minutes into the second video. Let's see what the, the average does as far as cleaning this up. Rich, are you talking to me? Are you talking to... To Rusty? I'm not using any guiding camera at all right now. I mean, this is 21 degrees up in the northwest. Asthma 328. You can see, there's, there's the ASCOM uh, window for the astrophysics mount. <laughs> it only took me like 40 years to get a, a nice observatory going. go to longer exposure. Right now I'm at 30 seconds. Go to 40. Yeah, Dewey, I've been down the road. I have a Byers 812 mount, which I got when Byers first came out with them, and it was a very nice mount back in the day, but uh, it was a basic mount with no encoders, no track. It just tracked. That's all it did.
Oh yeah, Anthony. De yeah, he, he has some. I have a lot of his stuff. He makes some very good stuff. <laughs> so the the first of the longer forty second exposures factored in. Where did it push the uh, histogram? Okay, so I got to move the white point over. Why don't I push the gamma? Maybe to one point four. <laughs> you don't have to go all the way to the sixteen hundred. I know a uh, one of my customers is a, is a is a priest up in North Louisiana, and he has an astrophysics. El Capitan, the 3600 mount. Uh, he ended up buying it from one of his parishioners. Uh, her husband had passed away, and uh, they had a, like a joint observatory, him and the parishioner, and uh, he ended up buying the 3600 from her. Uh, that's a huge mount. The, the 1600 is big, but the 3600 is, is, is bigger. You could probably ride a, a Tesla on top of it. <laughs> yeah, the, the shorter exposures are factoring out and the longer exposures are factoring in. Never forget, uh, this is one of the first galaxies I looked at with a Malin cam back in 04. And it was a, a two second black and white Malin cam. I was at a star party nearby. And it was a supernova in one of the spiral arms. And uh, we were able to pick it up very easily with that ancient Malin cam. <laughs> Let me push up the uh, history a little more. In the stack, I have, I normally only do five, but it defaults to ten. So there's ten. Ten, and I'm doing an average stack. Evening, Norm. I gotta bump the uh, the histogram up some more. Get higher up the curve. Yes, I'm doing a line frames and and. Uh, and every time an image jumps into the stack. The histogram bumps a little bit more to the left, to, I mean to the right. Might have to go with uh, Simon's suggestion and, and, and raise the gamma even higher. And I'm going to 1.6 on the gamma. Let me erase that.
go to the field, full field. Yeah. We are getting a little low. Let's see, it's 21 degrees now. And I think I'm just barely clearing the... Uh, Yeah, I'm barely clearing the uh, the bottom of the shutter opening. I can't go much lower than 20 degrees because of the, the limitation by the the mount. Yeah, Dilly, if you got the uh, Mount fairly well polar aligned. Then all you need is the uh, frame aligned in the Mallencamp sky, and it, it works out very well. Yeah, this target is getting pretty low. Where's Gemini right now? Messier. Where's Gemini? Gemini, okay, that should be high enough. Lower the uh, number of stars in the field. Eskimo Nebula right now is uh, how high? That'll be a meridian flip for sure. Okay, let's go. Let me stop the frame alignment. And then let's go to Eskimo Nebula. Telescopes flew into target. Rotate the dome. Telescope's new complete. It's time to replace the battery in my wireless controller. Definitely don't need 45 seconds for this stop. Loop five seconds and see if we can find the Eskimo. There it is. So let me get it to the center. Did it go the right way? Of course it went the wrong way. I did a meridian flip. Okay, east and west flip. Okay.
telescope synced. No, they, I don't need max gain either. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to lower the gain drastically for this one. Wait, did I get the right star? Maybe. Oh, where's my histogram? Ah, default. Okay. And let me go back with the color adjustment default. And there it is. Okay. So now let me let me increase the stop it and let me go with a little bit longer exposure. See if I can get the the parka hood to come out better. Too much. Ten seconds is too much. Seven seconds. Of course, in this field of view, that's it's pretty small. <laughs> try. Let me try region of interest. Oh, do you have to stop the uh, how come it won't grab the region of interest? Okay. Won't grab the region of interest, folks. Sorry. I don't know why. Whatever. Did I just freeze it? I just froze it. Let me restart it. And for mine, for some reason, it goes to digital binning four when it starts, so I had to go back to digital binning two. And. I'm in video mode. Okay. Hmm. Yes, and focal reduces in. This this would be better without a focal reducer, for sure. Yeah, this is a small target. Uh, what's, the, what's the parameters on this? Uh, 47 minutes of arc, seconds of arc. So it's uh, three quarters, you yeah, know, it's minuscule. Oh, 
Oh, let me go back to capturing images. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, let's see what else is in the area of uh, where are we looking at now? Oh, third change of day. So now we're almost due east, 55 degrees up. Let me go back to some of the other lists I was looking at. The RESC finest NGC objects. Let me see what do they have around azimuth 90. Ah, Medusa. I haven't looked at Medusa yet this year. Thor's helmet's up too. This Thor's helmet. Thor's helmet's only 20 degrees up. Is that right? Yeah, 20 degrees up right now for Thor's helmet. Uh, Medusa. Let me do a, a search. M E D U S A. To me, Medusa looks like a dolphin. Planetary Nebula, Action, Interactive Atlas. Telescopes looming to target. It's not that far away. Telescopes loo complete. Okay, so we'll probably have to go with a longer exposure. Let me go back to gain stop. Max gain. And let's go with a 15 second to spot start and see what happens. I haven't seen this in a while. It's there. <laughs> it may need more than 15 seconds. Okay. So it's definitely right in the center. So let me bump the exposure. Stop. Oop, 30 seconds. And let me see what dark do I have applied. Dark field. Import. I want to do a 30 second max gain dark. Import and enable. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. It's starting to show up. Let's do some average stacking and let's go from there. And I don't know if it's just me. Does anybody else see the dolphin? Like flipper diving and going down to the right. See the next when the next one factors in. Yeah, it's arches up and going down with its nose pointed down at the at the lower right end. So it hasn't factored the second one in the stack yet. Oh, I may have to go back to. Uh, On him, sky, set affinity. It's still one processor. Okay. Okay. I didn't do a white balance over here. White balance. White balance. See if the 
sky becomes less blue at the next frame. Yes. Okay. Oh, what the heck. Let's go with even longer exposure. Let me go 40 seconds. Yeah, I definitely see the, the shape now. Oh, let me go. I had the uh, gamma set at default, so let me go back to what, 1.4, 1.5 maybe. That should shift the curve back to the left a little bit. Yep. So I did the bubble 891, 253. NGC40 is going to be too small. It's another small red planetary. So that, that I'm not going to do that one. But yeah, the Medusa is looking pretty good. <laughs> Another layer of clothes. Okay. Familiar, this is the Medusa Nebula. Planetary Nebula in uh, Gemini. Also goes by Able 21. And it's 10 minutes of arc. It's in Gemini. Um, it's uh, 34 degrees up, almost 
due east, azimuth 94. The skies are not quite as good as they were the other night. I could try factoring in another white balance to see if it makes a difference, or I could lower the reds slightly. Yeah, let me lower the red to about minus 15, and let's see what happens. Of course, it's going to take a while for the average to occur. Also lower the saturation a little bit. One twenty eight go to about one twenty. And lower the brightness to about minus ten. Let's see what happens. We're supposed to have clouds coming in tomorrow. And then getting better for the weekend, of course, then the moon will be getting fuller. It's not looking bad. Lower the white to 160, sure. That'll brighten it up. I just lowered the I just lowered the brightness, so let's see what happens. So where is my uh, sharpness too? Is the sharpness sharpness is at two hundred? See, Thor's helmet now is 22 degrees up. It's still low. Flame is 46. Yes. Uh, what is the magnitude on Medusa? It says it's magnitude 11.3, but it's uh, 10 minutes of arc, so that's like, what, one-sixth of a degree? Where's this? Does it have a surface brightness? Mean surface brightness. 24.9 magnitude per arc, square arc second, so it's fairly low surface brightness object. Yeah, that, 
every atlas has slightly different data. You're starting to see some of the structure in the nebula. So I'm looking at the uh, RASC, where is it? Finest NGCs. I don't know if I can pick up any of the rosette. The rosette is so big. Because Thor's helmet is still low. Thor's, Thor's only 20. Well, I can go, we'll go to Thor's and see if we can start playing with it while it's 22 degrees up. 22 degrees up and southeast in the light pollution. Let's see. Start off by disabling that. Interactive Atlas. Slew to and telescope slew into target. Off the Thor's helmet. Telescope slew complete. Going to be in the uh, power line telephone pole nebula area. Yeah, initially it'll white out. As we caught the dome going by. Stop. Let's go to 20 seconds. Loop at 20. I got the default histogram to start off with. Thor's helmet is there. So I want to move that star. Okay, let's see. Let me do a little. I want to move that star to about there. Okay. So let's stop. Let's go to short exposure. Loop. See if that star shows up. And let's see if we go the right way. I think we're there. Okay, so now let's do the eraser. Oh, well, let's stop and let's go to well, let's go 30 seconds. What the heck? Loop. Okay. So Thor's helmet should be somewhere near the center. 
I can go back to the Flaming Star. I did that the other night, and it really came out nicely. I was I was pleased with the Flaming Star the other night. I haven't done Thor's helmet yet this year, and it's low, it's fairly low. It's only 23 degrees up, but it's there. Okay. Instagram. Let's start average stacking. You're getting the, the pinkish reds on the top and the bluish greens on the bottom. Just trying to figure out. What's on the floor that I'm tripping on? Oh, okay. That's not good. I did a white balance when I got over here. <sighs> yeah, the electric, I mean, the cord for the electrical Rigel end focus focus. I was rolling over it with the wheels of the chair. Let me do a white balance because this is definitely too much of something in the field of view. Where's the histogram? Maybe I should lower the sharpness a little bit. 200 may be a little bit aggressive. Let me go down the... I'm going to go to 100 to start off and let's see. Okay. Close the white balance box. Get that out of the way. There's some faint. I see some
right there, Jeff? And, and the answer is yes. I must have picked up something. There's something there. There's a faint streamer. I think I have Thor's helmet upside down. I think the helmet is here. And as one of the faint extensions goes out here, But the, the, the horns, uh, one of them's like up here, and the other one is here. Yep, they are. Yep. I'm looking at the DSS image. Let me see if I can flip the DSS image. Okay, I'm going to bring the DSS image in now. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. There's the DSS image. In comparison. So let me do some erasing now that I've got picked. This is not bad for as low as it is. <laughs> right now it's 24 degrees up. See, I'm at 30 seconds. Let me try a longer exposure. Stop. And I'm at max gain. Let me loop at 45 and see what happens. The reds are coming out nice at the, on the top of the uh, the horn on the top of the helmet. I don't want that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But it's not looking bad. Boy, that, that popped the histogram over to the side. Let me, uh, Oh, here comes Mr. Max Gamma. Oh, let me just go to Max Gamma. <laughs> Evening, Simon. I'm at max gain right now, and I'm now at uh, max gamma.
So if it's not on the sensor, Simon, where is it? Could be on the focal reducer. Let's <laughs> see if I can darken this some more. Okay, so I'm at I'm at max gamma. Let me slowly raise the contrast. Hundred. Let me go to fifty. See what it does. I'm going to go to max contrast, max gamma, and Simon. Let's see what happens. Let me. See my, my penmanship. Again, that's the helmet there. There's one of the horns here. The horn is over here, and there's a faint extension comes down here below the helmet. And in comparison, the DSS image. Probably one of the better images of uh, Thor's helmet that I've gotten. Well, Marie was asking about the Flaming Star Nebula, so let me uh, telescope synced. I synced on Thor's helmet, and where's Flaming Star? Oh. How could the Flaming Star not be one of the RASC's nicest objects? Okay, let me do a search. Flaming Star Nebula. More object information. Action menu. Interactive Atlas. And let's go back to where we were the other night. Telescopes looming to target.
telescopes soon complete. Okay. Okay. Another white balance. Start with a default histogram. Okay, that's a different orientation than I had the other night. There's two bright stars. I can see some of the nebulosity. Ah, which way do I have to move it? Let me... Bang. Maybe I can move that star to about... Here. Okay. Stop the loop. We're about loop. Let's see what that does. That gets me close to where I want to be. Okay. Okay. Stop. Loop. Hi, Dave. Just moved over to the Flaming Star Nebula. I'm at the first 45 seconds going in. I'm on my second cup of coffee for the night. I'll be up all evening. Where is the histogram? I know according to Simon, I have F pushed color and contrast and gamma to max. I'm not picking up the blues I picked up the other night. Night, Rusty. Glad you could stop by. Uh, the blues are at the top. I gotta bring that bright star down a little bit. Okay. Well, some bug just dropped from the sky. I wanna bring that bright star down to about here. Okay. So let's. Oh, great. A bee just dropped from the ceiling onto my keyboard. Okay, that's not good. Where did he come from? Ow. 
fell out of my observatory from somewhere. Okay. Yeah, it was a wasp. <laughs> a paper wasp bill of bill nests up in the top of the shutter tracks and then every now and then they decide to fall from the sky. Let's see if I can move that star down. No, that's not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go. That's pretty close. Okay. Stop. Loop. And then erase. The bad thing is he that I've been missing the conversation. The tools in the same window as the levels and curves tools that you use with layers. Simon, I was using Epic Pen to highlight a star and then where I wanted to move the star to to get the right orientation of where I wanted it, where I wanted to move the field to. Okay. And Yeah, there's some nice tools in Epic Pen that I, I use. Uh, I'm not picking up the blues like I got the other night. Let's see. Did I do a white balance? Do a white balance. Whatever helps. Let me go back to. I find this to be a little bit too dark, Simon. Sorry. Fifty. One point three. Let's see what happens. That's too light. Raise the black. Now let me start the average stacking. I yeah, like the, the blues around the, the bright stars at the top and then the reds towards the bottom. Simon, where are those auto buttons you're talking about? I remember the espresso machine, do we? <laughs> oh, Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> Come a long way. <laughs> so we still have just one in the uh, stack. Let's see what happens. When's the next one jump in? I have an hour and 15 minutes in this recording. Let me stop this.